guys, it's Tuesday. This week, I have not been in school for four days because I'm out. Thank God. And my grades are pretty freaking decent, even though I was stressed out the whole time. So I couldn't be happier. And I've gotten so much sleep. Cannot explain to you. For today, um, I read on the Huffington Post this article written by a psychologist who claimed that black women are less attractive for A, B, C, and D. I'm not really irritated with why he says that black women are less attractive. It's just the singling out of one race and trying to put it in the name of science kind of doesn't sit well with me. I'm just really not happy about that. I would still be equally upset had he pointed out any Japanese, Chinese, European people. Nonetheless, I would still be thoroughly upset and pissed. It's not just the fact that he pointed out black people and that I'm black. Because um, in the article, he actually says that black men are more attractive than non-black men. But black women are less attractive than non-black women. It's just literally like, what in the world is he thinking? <laughs> just, I don't know. If you single out a single race, that's just really biased and racist. It's not right. It shouldn't have been published anyway. And I don't want to take that along the lines of we can't handle the truth. It's just truth in terms of labeling one race as less attractive because of testosterone levels, BMI levels. It doesn't sit well with me. I'm not really that happy about it. It's one of those articles that actually upset me. I just don't like it. And it's not because I'm black and he's talking about my people and even women in my family. It's just singling out a race. That just really irritates me. I don't like it. Yeah, enough of that. I could go on about that forever. It's just really upsetting. So I'm going to move on to the questions on a good note. Okay, Elias, yes, this what's one homework assignment that we would never do again, even if we got paid. Um, I had to shadow someone or like ask them questions like a pharmacist. It was so awkward and I was so nervous. So I really didn't know how to act and then they were kind of not talkative and shy and it was not worth the grade. Thinking back, I would have taken that zero because I'm scarred for life. Danielle, you asked, would you rather be a hobbit, wizard, or pirate? A pirate? Pirates are awesome. They have gold and I would be one of the few pirates to actually have good teeth because I have braces and when the braces come off, my teeth should look pretty amazing. So yes, how would we spend the last day of our high school as a senior? The way I spent mine was kind of whack. I was just, because I got out of school, I could go home at um, 12 o'clock because I had all my credits, so I didn't have to stay around for the last two hours. It was amazing. I got to go home while everybody else was still sitting at school. So if I could like redo that, I would have literally spent my day probably doing really cool stuff. I can't really think of anything because there's really nothing to do here in Houston. But if my best friend was around, oh my God, we would not have gotten home till like three in the morning. It would have been awesome. Dreams. And my question relates back to the article. Just how do you feel about it? I will put the link to it below. It's like not even that much to read, literally. It's barely anything. It's just what he said, like, okay, bleh. Um, I have never been so upset reading an article before in my life. I'm gonna end this video. I will see you guys next week. Hopefully, I'll still be on summer vacation and I don't start my summer semester. Oh my God. Bye, you guys.